Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel and if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Today on this channel, we'll be talking about tropical diseases. You know, we'll be talking about their causes, their prevention of, and of course, their cure. Alright, we have numerous tropical diseases, guys. Tropical diseases are simply diseases that can be found in the tropics. You know, when you look at the earth or the globe as it is, you know that the world is divided or the globe, the earth, is divided into four cardinals, all right? Then we have the lines of latitude with the great line as the equator right the equator is at zero degrees now all areas around the equator that's the line that divides the earth into two horizontally at the middle is called what the equator and that is how the term equatorial was conned out now, when you talk about diseases in the tropics, you talk about diseases in places where you can find some vegetation, right? Whether it is at the northern hemisphere or at the southern hemisphere, but particularly, we will be referencing our talk on the areas around the equator equatorial areas or you talk about tropical areas around the equator whether it is towards the tropic of cancer or the tropic of capricorn you know at the equator when you're going towards the north you have the tropic of cancer right now going towards the south you have the tropic of capricorn all right, so we'll be talking about the tropics and the uh, diseases that are commonly found in the tropics, right? All right, guys, the reason why I'm making this video is because around the tropics, you see a lot of these diseases. And I've had to work on the field as a field scientist in order to do what in order to combat these diseases you have a host of many organizations out there ngos like my to start and jimmy carter foundation you know jimmy and rosalie carter they are two sweethearts that do what that are combating tropical diseases in africa and diaspora all right all right so you see some of the tropical diseases and most of them do what they do they tarnish the image of a person and they do what they make a person lose his or her dignity to the extent that they will not be able to function effectively to run their day-to-day -day lives right now, when you talk about the other organization treating tropical disease, you have people like T.Y. Danjuma. You know, T.Y. Danjuma is a retired army general, a man of the field. Now, this time around, T.Y. Danjuma died into the treatment of tropical diseases. And guess what? The treatment is offered free of charge. But you know, there are a lot of sponsors. You know, people like Bill Gates, like Ban Ki moon like WHO, like UN, and many federal ministry of health are also work on it to ensure that dignity is restored to men. All right, guys, some of the tropical diseases that we see commonly in the tropics are what? One, you have diseases like lymphatic filariasis. Lymphatic filariasis, or you can call it elephantiasis. However, elephantiasis 
it's not all elephantiasis, you know, depending on the part of the body in which you have elephantiasis. If a body, if, 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 if the body or a person, not a body now, if a person has lymphatic filariasis of the scrotal sac, you call it what? You call it hydrocele. So when you hear the word hydrocele, and you hear the word lymphatic filariasis, know that it is the same thing. They are just making reference to the body parts that is infected, right? Then we have what we call onchocerciasis. We have what we call soil transmitted helmet. You have diseases like glycoma. You have trachoma and so on and so forth you can even talk about leprosy leprosy is one disease that is found almost everywhere leishmiasis you see leishmiasis everywhere then you see what you see a whole lot of others right you see lepros people around you see guinea wall like one time I was just walking around the Abuja area and I saw somebody with kid one. And I remember what the country director of Jimmy Carter said that if you see anybody with guinea one in Nigeria, you do what? You would give them a call. The country director of Jimmy Carter Foundation is none other than who? Dr. Emmanuel Sansamiri. You're doing a great job out there, sir. We acknowledge your contribution to Nigeria and diaspora. All right. So now, guys, let's look at these diseases, how they're being caused, how you can prevent them, and how to cure them. All right. We have lymphatic filariasis or elephantiasis. Now. You see, elephantiasis is caused by a wall called Wucheriria bancrofti. How do you get this worm into your body or bloodstream? What part of your body does it affect? Wucheriria bancrofti is transmitted through the female anophil mosquito bite. You know, when the female anophil mosquito bites an infected person and bites a person who is not infected, the person becomes what now becomes a carrier. So do I hear somebody saying what? So you mean mosquito doesn't only transmit malaria? Oh yes. Oh yes. If you thought, you thought right. All right it can be transmitted just by the bite of mosquito and that is the reason why when i see people around with elephantiasis i try to approach them with a very friendly approach and direct them to any of the organization or foundation that they can get their treatments free of charge because it's one deadly disease that is easily spread, right? Now, how do you prevent it? You prevent it by ensuring you always deworm yourself. And what do you use to deworm yourself? You can use what we call albendazole, but you have to use very powerful albendazole. If you're into plant science and technology like me, right? You can use what we call carne in combination with amedalina indica or bitterly and you also use euphobia melee now in combination or even using just cadne you know that very plant that is used in making mosquito oil can prevent elephantiasis it can flush out elephantiasis at the early stage right that's prevention now cure elephantiasis i said you go in herbal elephantiasis doesn't have a cure so far so good i've worked with one of the highest ngo that combats this disease and as far as i know have been one of the most powerful 
tablets of medicine for maintenance and prevention. They don't have the cure. You know, Jimmy Carter Foundation, Mitosat, and a lot of others get their supplies or the stodium medicines with who? Side savers. So yeah, side savers, we acknowledge the good job you're doing out there. Keep keeping it real, all right? All right, guys. So you see, if you don't want to suffer from elephantiasis, you do what? And sure you take some albendazole. Now, if you're taking the kind of albendazole that is being sold in the pharmacy, you go with the prescription dose or dosage, all right? Then if you take it from any of the NGOs, you take just one albendazole irrespective of your age height and size all right so now let's look at onchocerciasis onchocerciasis uh, is a disease that affects the vision right now this disease is caused by a worm called hilaria worms yeah how beautiful the, the name sounds as beautiful as the name sounds it does what it does affects the eye now let me tell you a story have you ever seen a man looking at you based not looking at you if you've ever seen what we call river blindness river blindness is the same as onchocerciasis onchocerciasis is the scientific name for river blindness ability for the eye to be wide open without you seeing anything or partially seeing now when you go to many parts of the world you see these diseases when you come to places like northern nigeria you see where a man will hang a star on the body or shoulder of a child or another person who can see who will be what? Who will be directing the person? Whatever direction this person is following, that's the direction the person will do what? We follow. Now, how do you get this disease? Even though we know that it is being transmitted by what? It's caused by the filaria worms. You get it from the bite of black fly. I watched a movie, you know, I watched a movie and some movies where some people call themselves black flies. I'm black fly. I'm going for gorilla war, you know. So a black fly that is going for uncle war can do what? Can deposit the filarian words in your bloodstream. And with time, you start having impaired vision and you start having challenges here and there to the extent that you will even have what we call leopard skin. All right, you're going to have leopard skin. Your skin will not be smooth. Then it will be spotish, you know, like an albino that is beaten by what? By insects. This time around, it's gonna be many, many colors and the skin isn't gonna be smooth. I said, you know, how well to take care of yourself. All right? So guys, you do what? Black flies are commonly found around very fast running water, especially if the area is swampy. So when you see a fast running water, in a swampy area, check for black flies before you get a call attack. All right, so now, if you have uncle or you are a carrier of uncle sarsiasis or evil blindness, how do you treat it? And how do you prevent uncle sarsiasis? You can prevent uncle by what, guys? by taking medicine or iva medicine iva medicine 
all right iva mexi so iva mexi of mexican is one of the medicines in the store that can be used to treat onchocerciasis therefore onchocerciasis if you want to go have a if you've had a philactus urinaria philactus neruri philactus conchicinesis and medellina indica and euphobia mealy you can do a combo of these plants with some licorice and do what and drink it for some time adhering to dosage and plant interaction then once you do that you have to maintain your liver and your vision ensure that you don't joke with fruits like beetroot you know when you hear beetroot 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 please endeavor to do what to use to consume and to cherish beet root is reddish it's like the color of pomegranate all right now we have schistosomiasis schistosomiasis is nothing other than beet hasiasis guys you know it's caused by a red beet hasia worm with black mouth or lips or you can call it black head it's red with black head of black lips right so how do you get this you get it through the water and sometimes through the vegetable you consume and even the soil this is the reason why you have to always wash your vegetable or plants thoroughly with salt water and vinegar advisably and preferably three times before you prepare your meals all right now you also have to practice sucking fruit and vegetable in salt water for some minutes and let whatever needs to dissolve out dissolve out and leave you with the right nutrients and substances all right now if you have schistosomiasis or bilharziasis you might suffer from what we call blood urine because all it does is that as much as it attacks the other organs of the body it does what it will be trying to perforate the walls of the kidneys right you know we have a whole lot of herbs you can use to treat it but the medicine in the pharmacy that is used to treat schistosomiasis is called praxiquantal praxiquantal or you can just call it praxi right now if you want to go herbal you can endeavor to use what we call philanthus urinaria you can use amedelina indica euphobia mealy then there is a plant with a common name called god wheat then let me tell you you know some people may want you to use what we call elderberry yeah elderberry treats virus yeah not so much of a germicide even though it's so much of a germicide so go go with what go with the plants I, I advise for you to do what for you to go with in treating this disease right then you know when you want to take praxi praxi contai you have to adhere to your height you have to use a calibrated star on meter rule to take the height of the person and no words the number of albendazole is always marked you know once you take the height if the person uh mectizan or brexit one time sorry to say the number is already calibrated so once you take the height 
you will know how many you are supposed to take or should be given all right all right guys next is what soil transmitted ailment soil transmitted ailment is caused by the worms that are deposited in the soil right there are different worms different ascaris species you know we we don't have one type of worm that causes soil transmitted ailment but you know a lot of ascaris or many ascaris species can cause what we call soil transmitted ailment where a person will be what defecating and you see long ascaris worms coming out like you know looking like tania solio or it's warm all right so be careful you know in africa you have the practice the open defecation is what is the game you go to a lot of places and you see a lot of things happening now we know a lot of things happens right where you don't have the social amenity the right thing to do is to do what excavate the soil dig it some you know some feet dig pass your excreta and cover it with the soil the soil will do what decompose it don't pass excreta or your excreta at the surface of the soil and let whatever we patch on it patch on it let whatever we wash it wash it by so saying you know you may not really understand this except you are a field masher if you've ever gone to war where you will need to be in some jungles or some forests or some desert for many weeks and many months you will understand what i'm saying you will do it you have to get your water bottle or your water carrier and when the need presses on you may want to understand that carrying bleach carrying water is key then you can do what you can use a jackknife and do what and just excavate the soil and you pass what you need to pass in case of war again if there is insurgency in your place you know like what is happening in Adama State, thank God everything has subsided. What is happening in Borno State and a few other places in Nigeria? You know, areas of insurgency when it comes for getting in the run, you understand what I'm saying. You will understand that two, three year olds are in field marshals. Like this, these guys can go like reptiles or on it you know so you make use of that common advice is you find yourself in a situation understand that the soil should be excavated before passing the excreta don't pass the excreta on your fan land by so saying even if you want to use ruminant droppings as your what as manure of fertilizer for your plants you do what dig the soil you pour it and cover it all right so that the nutrients we dissolve in it whatever needs to be converted from one form to the other will be converted then you have other diseases guys like what like leprosy and so on and so forth any worm you know so what is the number one thing you should have with you if you have any of these diseases or if you want to stay hygienic a must have i would say for every home for every office aside from people who are scientifically oriented aside from medical doctors aside from hospitals aside from pharmacologists aside from pharmacies clinics and all that ensure you have your first aid bus always ensure that whatever factory 
I'm what? Operating. Has this. I keep this at home as well. In order to do what? In order to be able to attend to myself. Make sure you got some alcohol in it. All right? Then ensure you have some painkillers in it. Ensure you have some cotton wool. Ensure you have some scapulas, spatulas, legs, scissors. And ensure you do what, guys? Ensure that you also have other things as you may need it. You know, the way this factory we set up their first aid bus may not be the way this factory we set it up. And if you're also, you know, organizing your home, maybe others are into one thing or the other. You ensure you have a first aid box, okay? If you are a scientist, if you've been taught well, you will know the importance of having what we call first aid box, a fire extinguisher, even in your home, all right? So, when you have this, what else should you have? Ensure you have what we call disinfectants in it. You know, for the skin, you can go for data, you can go for IV, you can go for very soon, our own company is going to release, or uh, not really, release to the market, our own disinfectant, Mac Talk. Mac is a trademark for machine art comfort cosmetics, guys. It goes with the trademark M-A-C-C. All right, so you will have Mac Talk in the market, so, so you can go with any of these and make sure you practice cleansing those infected and affected parts of your body. All right? And try to restore the dignity you have. Now, if you've ever seen anyone with river blindness, you know, ability for the eye to be wide open without you seeing anything. If you've ever seen anyone with elephantiasis, you can direct the person to go to my Tusad or TY Danjuma Foundation with headquarters in Just City, Plata State, Nigeria. You know, you can direct the person to go to Zarmaganda behind work office and just ask where TY Danjuma Foundation is. Or you can direct the person to go to Jimmy Carter Foundation headquarters in Nigeria, in Jos. Ask the person to go to Miango Road, to Dumwada, Jos, Nigeria. All right? And, you know, show them what you're passing through treatment is free. Somebody out there is doing what is paid for the treatment. So, being that is a highly contagious disease that can be passed on from one person to the other without having contact with the person. Don't see these infections and keep it quiet. Make sure you do what you call for immediate response. All right? All right, guys. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up, share with your loved ones, and subscribe to Machine Art channel for more uploads. Thank you.